I'm going to introduce is the Major General Zapanta. He is the CEO and President of the United States Mexican Chamber of Commerce based here in Washington, D.C. Uh, he's held service, uh, many pre uh, served on many commissions under Presidents Re Nixon, Ford, Reagan, and both the Bushes. Uh, General Zema, uh, Zapata entered the military in uh, 1964, uh, and he has numerous uh, awards and decorations, including Silver Star, Five Bronze Stars, uh, for uh, with V for Valor and the Purple Heart. Wow. Go. What Bob just did to me, he made me older than anybody up here. <laughs> Mr. Trump, thank God for you. Yeah. And your leadership. <laughs> You know, being a Vietnam veteran and serving all the way through the Iraq and Afghanistan war in the Department of Defense as the chairman of the Reserve Forces Policy Board, where half of the military that we deployed to that region 15 years ago, and we're still there, were National Guard and Reservists. And when they came home, they couldn't use the VA because they were not veterans, because they were still part of their Reserve and National Guard unit. I know the next president of the United States, Donald Trump, will fix that. Yeah. I also would like to say, you know, deplorables are also deployables. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor for me to be here in supporting the next president of the United States who will lead from the front, who has the kind of leadership that we need, is not afraid to make that decision. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really honored to be with Donald Trump, and I'm all with you. I actually probably did this on purpose, because this next fellow is really a personal friend and have an immense respect for him. He won his Silver Star in Korea when the North Koreans tried to take over our location there on the DMZ. So he's a very special warrior. He is a Major General. It's my honor to introduce you to Major General Burt Mississauga.